I'm uh, Captain Gerd Roschmann from the German Air Force. We are based in uh, Memmingen, that's Fighter Bomber Wing 34 in uh, southern Germany. The aircraft you can see here is uh, the uh, Tornado IDS, it's uh, called the Interdictor Strike version. That's an aircraft built by Germany, Britain and Italy. None of the countries uh, needed in that many aircraft to build one for its own. So they uh, split up either the uh, research and the production as well. Each country is building certain parts and then after that everyone will assemble its own aircraft. So like uh, the uh, center part with the canopy built for example in Britain, the center part of the fuselage in Germany and the wings I guess coming from Italy and then all these parts will be put together. Here he comes ladies and gentlemen, the tornado. Special features of this aircraft, it is air refueling capable, so it gives you quite a long range. And it has uh, two guys up in the cockpit. So one pilot and the guy in the back is the uh, weapon system officer responsible for navigation, electronic warfare, setting up the weapons and all the things. Here comes the tornado. Look at that water vapor coming off of those wings as he goes through them, swept full back. Unique feature on this aircraft, right in front, behind the nose, you have uh, two radars, one for air-to-air uh, -air and ground mapping, navigational purpose, and a second one below just for terrain following. So what you can do is you can punch in like uh, altitude you want to fly, and the computer in combination with this radar will just keep you above this uh, terrain height, and so you could like even strike enemy airfields in bad weather or night conditions. A tornado can be used for close air support, battlefield interdiction, counter air operations, air superiority, and as an interceptor, or for naval attack and reconnaissance. Right behind the radar nose is uh, the uh, two guns, one on each side, 27 millimeter Mauser guns. Up here at the uh, wing roots, you can see the uh, wing sweep geometry. So the wings can be swept uh, from 25 all the way back to 67 degrees. Right now it's in the uh, middle position. That's where the normal flying position will be. The 25 position will be used like for takeoff and landing and the 67 degrees for a high speed flyby, for example. See the wings are swept all the way back, giving it that delta shape. We're flying with uh, two underwing tanks. Gives us uh, quite an extended range capability. Up there you see the launchers for our self-protection carrying two AM9 Limas, Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. Look at him move. So what you see here is uh, the rear cockpit. That's where the uh, WISO, the so-called uh, weapon system officer, is uh, working. So that's why this cockpit especially is equipped uh, with uh, two TV tap displays that uh, are able to display the uh, present uh, tactical and uh, navigational situation. And right in the middle, you have the combined radar and map display. You can superimpose it with your radar picture in front, which gives you the ability to update your navigation system quite easily. All right, looks like he's going to get it slowed down this time. The gear's down, the lights are on. Hold it up at that real high angle of attack, even with the wing swept back like that. You notice this airplane is very stable in a relatively slow flight configuration. Now he's going to have quite a bit of power on trying to hold it there. That's the pitch up the nose. To give us a very short landing capability, these engines are equipped with a thrust reverse system. And right in the middle, you can see this uh, mechanics, which uh, brings the uh, buckets deployed above and below the engine right in front of the engine when you're landing, so it will reverse the thrust and stop the aircraft up after a few hundred of feet. That's a demonstration how quickly that airplane can stop. You probably saw the buckets come out across there and he brings the engines up and it literally reverses the thrust and helps him slow down. I want to hear what you think for the folks from the German Air Force and the wonderful tornado.